Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge 3.2 preview playthrough as the Ariadu Authority. In the last episode, we integrated the Empire, getting ourselves a clone of Palpatine to serve our own interests. But we also are in the middle of trying to get into, or getting Greater Maldrude integrated, which means we'll need to take Axilla, Salagus, and probably Rivester. Yeah, Rivester. So that's going to be our focus for today. We'll start off by sending Resun from his safe little refuge on Dathomir into Salagus. So we also want to get that. Uh, did I? No. Okay. So Salagus, that's 44 pop cap. And Axilla... That's going to be a bit harder to take, but not impossible to have. I think we'll be okay. Which means we'll be able to start moving the Asserter around a bit more. There is a problem in that the Penistar alignment took Ord Veneer, which means Daenerys is now open and uh, Kane is running around the galaxy again. So, not ideal. But it's Era 5 now, too. So, Karnor just doesn't exist. I don't know if it's checking, if it's based on checking if Karnor died or if he's just not around, but, uh, no, so it, it should be, yeah, yeah, so that should work. It should just be 60 weeks until it's Dallas' turn. So we're, I think we're good. So Salagus, be an easy take for us. We need to you in. You're not going to be the most useful for this battle. Put in That's water and sewage authority. Moving Soon. Forward. Stormbringer. And Devastator. Also put in better than Lornar. Try and run. And Priscus. I think it is worth stopping the retreats on. Uh, on yes. the Maldrude stuff at this point. Reporting in, sir. All guns, fire all on the forward. engines. Ready. Attack that target. Yes, Commander. Awaiting your okay. orders. Okay. Your eliminating target under control. Ready. Your Intercepting. I'm on. Once we get the Greater Maldrude integrated, it should only take one or two fleets in the south to protect against the New Republic. Like, Delvar's fleet staying where it is. Uh, but then we should be able to move in a lot of our, uh, or move out a lot of our other forces in, like, the Unknown Regions towards the Empire of the Hand and Penistar alignment. We may end up in a similar situation to the Greater Maldrude playthrough, where we have the, uh, the final episode as the Attack on the New Republic stream. So I'd probably want to get that down to like five or six points left instead of getting all 15 at once. I'm still not sure what we're going to do after after the Ariato Authority. Because the Havens are coming up. But maybe it'll be Republic. We did that poll to see which Clone Wars faction people wanted to see between the two next. Are we going to see a Revithan playthrough sometime? Yeah, once they're a playable faction again, you will. But they have to be playable before we can play as them. That is an unfortunate criteria of having a playthrough. And let's actually drop these here. What's there on Axilla? Another similarly small fleet. So not too bad. About to invade Generis. We'll see what they send. In 
let's swap our Pathfinder. Because that obviously... Heading to destination. Tactical battle. Take Axilla. And then we'll figure out where we go. There. He was asking, are we... Are we... Artis is asking, what GC will the Haven playthrough use? I'm thinking it's going to be... A uh, known galaxy small. We're moving out. Move out. Uh, right full galaxy small map doesn't have the havens in it, and I don't want to do something too big. I was thinking about doing from the ground up even as them, but I kind of want to use any heroes we end up having set up. When we're in point three, there will be a good amount of Empire, Empire of the Hand, and New Republic stuff to show. So I do want to wait for for those to have a bit more focus on them. We're also going to have a single stream Galactic Conquest as the New Republic. There's also the the option of doing other mods. Star Destroyer reporting in. Open fire. This way. Doesn't always have to be EAWX. Just for the last few years, there's only been there's been so much that I've needed to kind of show, or so much that we've been working on and getting done at any point for fewer campaigns going on at once. So it's never been an, an issue. Or like, especially when like Fall of the Republic was just starting off, so there was always a kind of movement there. There's always a Fall of the Republic one going on, always an uh, the R one going on, and like for the last few years, the the playthroughs have ended up being a lot longer. Like the Empire of the Hand and PA ones in particular took months, if not years. So with the Greater Maldrude and this one being much more reasonably length, or a much more reasonable length, needs more stuff to spread the love on. Technically, there doesn't also need to be something new to do a playthrough as a faction. Just if I'm planning on doing a faction coming up, then it, it works a bit better to make sure it's something that's not going to be redone in like three months. And one of the other things with uh, with point three is going to be all the maps being redone. Hopefully, some more story stuff. So that'll be even more even more stuff to do with campaigns. We also haven't really done proper Zinj campaign in a while. Like, we've done some single-stream Galactic Conquest with them. But I think it has been a while since there's been a... Uh, like an episodic Zinj campaign. Where does Rasun appear in lore? I think he's from, like, West End Games stuff. That's usually where things are from. But I don't know offhand. Hey, look, it's Kane. Would like to kill you, Kane. I don't think we're going to be able to hold this. We can make it easier to reinvade, though. May as well get our money worth out of it. There's one of the other things with Zinj is that of all the warlords, he's the one who. Uh, Had the biggest holes in his roster. Order acknowledged. Yes, 
Commander. Turret constructing. Turret constructing. Always ready, sir. Moving out. The most stuff that just isn't done yet. Reporting in. Heading out. On the way. Order, sir. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the far landing zone. Reporting. Get to this landing zone. You get any cooler than raptors? I mean, once we get to see Ruby, yes. yes sir. We can get actual raptors that are much cooler. Let's move out. Roger. Let's go. Reporting in. You gotta, you gotta keep going. Awaiting orders. Roger that. Form up. Okay, this needs to actually have something built on it. Gabba's... I copy. Spread out, man. Kill the Gabba's. The military Wait, field base. Rotor that. Form up. Yeah, can you lure them back? Keep going. If we can lure them back, then we have an Reporting. AA turret. Uh, let's get AV here. Heading out. Yes, Commander. Okay, we actually we got it. Uh, that'll be good because we can stop. Stop them from having too many, Awaiting orders. too many extra units. Guardian protectors, please no. AA of their own too. Let's try to make sure they don't actually get the um, now we'll go for the UTAAs. Crap, they got the landing zone. All over now. Yes, sir. Well, let's try and let's try and hold down here. Yes, commander. This way. Anything we kill, we don't have to kill later. Thank you for another 100 bits, Kiva. Asking, what are your favorite sci-fi franchises aside from, aside from Star Wars? Uh, Stargate, I really like. I was never able to get into Star Trek as much. Uh, never, never watched BSG. Never watched Dune either, or Red Dune. I tried to watch The Expanse, but Dana and I didn't really give it as much of a chance as we probably should. We were playing cards or something while having the first episode on the background, and it was like, okay, we're neither of us is paying attention to this, we have no idea what's going on, and we just never really went back to it from there. They should be dead soon. Let's get another of this. They're gonna be able to land more stuff. Another company of them. Okay. I think we need to book it back to the base. We need to try to get these Gavas killed. Yes, 
to be a few companies in there. I think that's two companies total that we've killed of Gabas. I forget how many they get per company. Alright, here comes the bombardment. Alright, well, we did what we could. Not a bad attempt. Considering what we had. But I don't know that we managed to kill off much. Okay, yeah. System lost. We could just, like, go in now with this fleet and try to kill off Kane with that. That'd distract us from our current actual goal. Heading out. No distractions allowed. Well, a slight distraction because we need to build up some of our other capital ships. Okay. Uh, less leaky bucket. Vader's fist. It's been a bit tougher with this campaign because, like, it's such a large faction. The ship sizes skew so large that it's been relatively more expensive to build up the patron units. Uh, Donner, Asher, saved you, lunch. The PA will have their time. As the likely candidates to focus on next stream, along with the Katana fleet. Levaya over there. Your reinforcements. Heading out. Squadron moving out. On my way, this is a map that I think has really right away, sir. helped highlight some of the focus in the uh, different right. factional right. focuses right. on ground in particular for, for the Warlords. Like, Ariadu, we're probably primarily going up through this, this hole right We've here. Like, yes, brute force of our heavier vehicles through there. We might be able to take out this factory, but like Greater Maldrud, we did uh, the air speeders and the jet troopers over this, or the jump troopers over that way. With Zinj, you can go up this way because of the infantry path. Kind of something that I want to make sure we can get in more of the maps, making sure it uh, it has different options depending on which kind of tools you have or bring to the table. There's a landing zone for us. Let's, uh... down there. Artillery in the back. What's the flavor of the Ethan ground units? They'll need a bit more of a an in-depth discussion in the future. When we were doing the Imperial Force decisions, we made some choices with them. Uh, like, they're definitely a more offensively focused faction, so a lot of the higher damage, lower tankiness units. But since they are a faction that like we've only really talked about in terms of what Imperial stuff we're giving them, we haven't done the, the full breakdown for them, but we want to give them beyond that. You guys can come in and kill more of them. Over there, where's the Maya? He's probably not where you want to be.
This did cost us a lot of our units. And I think one of our heroes. At least one of our heroes. Okay, hopefully that'll kill both that and the factory without losing us our... Our units. There we go. And that's just a tax agency or something. All those Kuat forces we built up does need do need to be added to uh, to this now. And you in. I think Lumaya we can send back here. If we want the, the Lancets on anti-structure duty. Yeah, garrisons and ground and space have been redone and this was before then, so a lot of the garrisons don't match the factional rosters in this playthrough. to send you down there to deal with the tax agency. We're about to have our bombardment. But they might even decide to retreat before that. Oh, no. Bombardment we can definitely use on there. That'll be handy. Can you actually... Can you hit this? You should be able to. Go in... And kill that. We're shooting the wrong thing. Bam. Bam. Then they might just retreat. an AA turret. There we go. Got him. Which brings us to our last Maldrude plant. Did we lose him? Eros has died again. I mean, we'd, we'd already... We'd already lost. It's just, uh... Earned what it should have been. Right away. Fleet coming into Meridune. Keep saying that they're coming for here, but they're really not. This fleet will get its. A lot of these ships will be getting their debut performance against the Empire of the Hand, so they're gonna they're gonna get their time to shine. And we might have to combine these guys for that. Oh yeah, these these have just been a Heading out. dead fleet for a while. Imminent. Wasn't enough food and parts front, so I need to get those going. Building started. Get food there. Let's get parts Beginning there. Get food Building there. Started. Then we will what? Air name not found. Right. This shouldn't be a threat to this fleet. A bit of one, but.
Should be okay. You're in this direction. Sound? Do we have a HP gun here? No. Copy. They may decide they want to retreat. Copy. Keep going. If they don't, they're dead. Don't have the pop cap Rose to stand here. up against us. I copy. Heading to destination. Reporting. Star Destroyer standing by. Star Destroyer reporting in. Roger that. This way. I copy. We don't want to use our bombers in this. That's a lot of anti-fighter they have. We'll try to keep the bombers back a little bit. Awaiting orders. We're moving out. And the torpedo sphere won't be as useful here either. Yeah, they're leaving. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. These were supposed to go up to construction. Technically split between Lumaya and Palpatine, but we're gonna be sending them to the same places anyways. Fallout. You go up there. Construction complete. That fleet's going in on the or on the New Republic at the end. Coruscant, we want the trade core, and we also want a second tax agency on it. Or then, IPV reporting. Let's move out. Just gonna come up here. Let's move We're gonna send our combined arms again. Heavy star destroyer awaiting orders. This is. Okay, they have a bit more than what they sent, but not much more. What do you have? You are a bulk cruiser. A blurry, blurry bulk, bulk cruiser. Blurry, blurry bulk. Enemy forces ahead. Choose your reinforcements. Ketosphere, not the best in this battle, but Darius... Can still go in. Bastion in a bit more of an aggressive position. Iron Hand of Justice. Furious Abyss. Ghost of Knights Revenge. Spoilers of Cadia. And I think we're not bringing in progress. May as well kill the Interdeck Bridge right there. In case we need to leave. I think we have killed off pretty much every uh, every Maldrude hero at this point. So we won't get many out of integration. are going to focus on Tavira. We need to make sure that the anti-fighter isn't going to be clustered around it, which it looks like it kind of will be. Uh, they do have a Dominator, but let's try to get over to Tavira. The anti-fighter will stop some of the projectiles from the Torpedo Sphere, but if we have like all the bombers plus the Torpedo Sphere shooting at it, 
that can only accomplish so much. We, we should be able to get the saturation point on there. It's a lot of anti-fighter to take out still. Even with us overwhelming a lot of it. Uh, okay. You, Furious Abyss, want to go for the Architens. Even with the pop cap disparity here, the Torpedo Sphere is a lot of that pop cap. And they have a lot of really good tools for, for this battle against this fleet. They have a good amount of fighters. They have a good amount of anti-fighter stopping some of ours. They have a command bonus. They have a lot of these small ships. So we should still come out on top, but it's still a respectable, respectable attempt. This is more of a freighter battle than a torpedo sphere battle. Ghost Knight is getting hit a lot, but we should, I think we've pushed past enough of the ISDs that were going to be in danger. It shouldn't be threatened anymore. Yeah, I think we can move over to uh, some of the other some of the other threats. Particularly some of those uh, type fighter. You, Iron Hand, can probably take out this other hero, Zolo. Which legitimacy SSD are you going to build? Uh, I'm probably going to put that up to a poll in our next stream. Once we have the Greater Maldrude taken in here, uh, you can all. Don't shoot it to Vera. Don't shoot it to Vera. Don't shoot it to Vera. Don't shoot it to Vera or Fan. Okay, you shot at Fan. That's fine. Shoot at uh, shoot at other people. Okay. If she didn't suicide into the planet, we'd be able to integrate her still. But I'm probably gonna put the uh, legitimacy SSD into a poll for the next stream. Because what I'm probably going to do between the episodes is organize our fleet a little bit. Uh, maybe make some money to build the rest of the, inf or the, the patron units so that we're a bit more organized. But uh, from there, we'll be able to do our offensives against the last three factions. And it'll be time to build the other legitimacy unit. Legitimacy groups. I will save before we go into this one. Because it has been half an hour. Over half an hour. And while it's saving... I'll... I am kind of curious to see how the uh, how the Hapen preview playthrough will perform on the channel. Like, Maldrude and Ariadu have both done really well. Uh, part of that, because of SSD expectations for Ariadu at least, but uh, I think within the fan base they're a bit more established now. People know who they are. But just even beyond that, uh, it was Christmas, and there was the usual, like, holiday season bump in YouTube viewership. So, I don't know if it'll be able to be maintained. Like, being the same series, they kind of maintained some of that. 
This is fancy. Order, sir. Don't think I've played here yet. Beginning construction. Destination set. I go. Order acknowledged. Reporting. He's on stream. Devo Highway. Yes, Commander. Yeah, with hover vehicles, you can go over. A lot of the areas. What? What? Ready. Ready. Keep going. Yes, sir. Let's go for right that away. landings. Affirmative. Let's go. New coordinates. AT AT ready. Roger. Moving to that area, sir. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be safe at the top there, but I think if we send the tanks in with it, we should be. Like, they don't have a huge garrison here, so it's not... Okay. It shouldn't be a tough battle overall. Palpatine, go for go for broke up there. Okay, well it looks like we killed off that force at least. The ATAT -AT should be okay on the base. Like yeah, they had mostly infrastructure on these planets. Or on this planet. Not a ton of units because they were Mostly attacking in other parts of the map. Reporting. Awaiting your order. Okay, Palpatine, get the other landing zone for us, and the tanks can go and help the ATAT. -AT. Once he gets that, we can go to the abandoned factory. to focus on that. And closer. I think when we target here, it's actually going to hit the whatever structures up there. There we go. Not that it matters much anymore. Get some light tanks to go and do some infantry hunting. That's most of what's going to be there. We actually hit most of both of them. Right. Well, they should be able to handle that on their own. The at, at can come down here. And... Down there. Ready. Heading out. Copy. Heading out. I'll copy. Pull out. Reporting in. The capturable deck. Fall out. Oh, I guess it's gotta be a abandoned factory. Standing by. I do wish they weren't covered. Mostly just the infantry down here. Yeah, 
we may lose a few things on that, but it would be too bad. Thank you, Kiva, for another 100 bits, asking, are the huts going to be added to all four mods or just follow the Republic? Uh, the huts are basically a faction which have the capability to be added to pretty much every mod we're working on. They will be added in at least Thrawn's Revenge and Fall the Republic. And we already have hut space set up waiting for them in TR. Here we go. We unlock Runter's group again. I guess it's not checking properly for that. I need to make sure... I need to put it away to check what groups are actually in the table. But we've got... We got Greater Maldrude, which means we did get Tavira. No other heroes. Unfortunately, in this build, it also seemed to be a bit uh, weird with spawning the uh, the integrated forces. Like, it was working fine in the Maldrude playthrough, which started afterwards. So I'm not super concerned about it as, like, a, an actual long-term issue. But still kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, we, we're mostly getting uh, some anti-fighter out of that. But I think we're going to leave it there for today. Like I said, between this stream and the next stream, which will be next Monday, I am going to build up the rest of our patron units. So I'll reorganize our forces a bit, get us ready for the attacks on the Penistar alignment. We'll probably actually start off with uh, taking Roche and Thanos just so it closes off some of the uh, some of the entryways into our territory before going for either the Empire of the Hand with these fleets or we'll go for the Penistar alignment. Probably the Empire of the Hand first, but we'll also do the Katana fleet. We'll take out Kane. We'll do a bunch of fun stuff. But thank you all for watching. Hope you are enjoying the series so far. Hope you're looking forward to the upcoming 3.2 release next time. Bye, everyone.